Hey folks, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. When you last joined me, we got the GT40 race car. I got all rhapsodic about that and thought it was the coolest thing ever. Um, kind of is the coolest thing ever, folks, though, so don't go thinking that I'm wrong. Um, and... Actually, hang on. Do I have any other races to win in the four-wheel drive challenge? Let's go for this. I didn't even check to see what racetrack this is. This may have been a poor idea. Haha, <laughs> Vaguna Seca, it was a poor idea. I might want to get crippy tires for the car, that's all. I might want to do that, is all. I might want to do. That is all. What do we have here? A lot of uh, a lot of rally cars, some SVXs, Mitsubishi GTO. Make our little way up the mountain here. Just a little dab on the brakes, get around that turn. Then negotiate the corkscrew through magic. Negotiate the corkscrew through either magic or giving up and just bumping into some walls. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Not really a scientist, but... That was nice. That was mostly glide there. That was a little too much glide. very easy to drive fast. Doesn't necessarily mean that when you're driving it fast that you're doing so in, in a particularly good way. Or that you're actually uh, getting all of the potential out of the car. just have to make it through this last turn without losing. <laughs> that was your little joke, huh? Lancer, Evo, GSR. Well, I won, fair and square. Unmodified car that met the horsepower requirements. Can't say I cheated. I could try and say I cheated. But, you know. I would say that your claim is dubious at best. What do we have next? What do we have next? Come on, one East Day, one East Day. Oh, Seattle Short, 345 horsepower. Hmm. 
I should have just gone straight to garage here, but I didn't. Mine's R32 and a half Skyline GTR. This one's not as advanced, presumably. And one base. And sure, this is one of the ultimate forms, the R32 Skyline GTR. So, have a look at everything that's there. Turbochargers, lots of cool stuff. Now this I actually like. Despite an exterior that is almost unchanged from the standard version. An exterior that's unchanged and yet the car is completely transformed into this crazy performance machine. That's something I respect. Nismo 400R preceding model. Is this an R30... R34, yeah. This is an R33, so it won't really, yeah. And 393. I think that was too much for that race, wasn't it? Well, we're about to find out, because we're about to go over there and try this car in it. I think it is, though. Pretty sure it is. What is a Tom's T-111? It's another... No. It's a Dinkmobile. Ah, that's right, I called you the Dinkmobile. You're apparently a car designed to drive around the little people. Yeah, okay, yeah, 345. This is too much. Too easy. Okay. Well, considering the large amounts of money that we have, maybe now would be a good time to go. Well, let's see, fourth place. 345 horsepower. I don't have any mid-engine cars that, uh, 345 horsepower or lower that are likely to do very much there, do I? have a Mugen Beat. I don't think I can actually get that much horsepower out of it, though. I suppose I better tune it up, because I'm going to have to enter Beat the Beat eventually, but... Eh. You know, let's get in the little fella and see how much we can do, huh? How's that? How's that sound to all you folks at home? Sound like a good time? I know it is. Baby. Let's go to Honda Land. Let's go to Toon Land. It's Toon World. Yeah, let's see what kind of turbo kits we can get here. Well, it won't cost that much to, uh... make this car crazy powerful. So there's that. When I say crazy powerful, I mean considering how tiny and uh, wee it was. Let's see, 108, 116, yeah. Max power has changed. He's gotten out of his clothes, everyone. Look out! Now let's see what we could have done with NA tuning. Not as much. So, that's something to think about, folks. Not as much. Engine balancing 3 horsepower for 16,000 credits. Oh yeah, that sounds like a great use of my money. It will once I... Yeah, 3, 4, yeah, let's get this. We get the most powerful Mugen beat ever made. We can't increase the displacement, folks. Don't be silly. Why are you being silly? 
Is there a racing modification for the beat? No, there's not. Okay. Well, let's see what with just pure power we can do in the Beat the Beat trophy. We can get 3,000 credits. That'll win us back our... You know... Let's say approximately 50 grand's worth of modifications that we threw into this car. I don't think it was quite that much, but still, it was a lot. Considering the car itself is not worth 10. Now, is this going to be another unfortunate situation with bad gearing where I realize that the other cars will all be able to catch up to me because I didn't modify the gearing of this car and... That's not going to be the problem I'll run across. The problem I'll run across is... I don't know. car doesn't seem that much significantly faster than the others. I guess it is, though. I'm starting to gain on them. Well, again, hitting the rev limiter. Hope they're not all just biding their time to come after me now. I don't think they are, but you never do know. It goes to show you never can tell. Alright. Jeez, it's just a slight... I'm not even steering to the left there, and it's just... Undulation in the pavement throws the car over that way. Wow, those buzzing hornets are right behind me again. The wolf's at old Gill's door. You know what it is that's really helped me uh, get the upper hand on these guys, don't you? It's that sports sound exhaust I've got in this Mugen beat. They just can't stand the sports sound. It's the sound of sport. Never mind that I've already replaced it with a racing muffler so that I would have a beat with an excess of 100 horsepower. What are you guys doing? Stay back. It's apparently the only one with the special Mugen beat. Everybody else had various other variants of the Honda beat. As far as I can tell, they pretty much all look the same. has like a hard top and some other silly pieces like that. 
Anyways, let's win and earn some money. Yeah. Let's go to next and continue. So there's another trophy under the old belt. Feel good about that. Sometimes that's all it is. You gotta get out your scorecard and find out what cars it is that you need to win some races and go get them. I thought I had an, N2 an S2000 of some sort. Or a Civic. We're going to find out. I have an Accord, is what I have. So, I think there's an Evo Cup that I could put that mines in. Pretty Spider. Phaeton. Nismo 270R. Huh. That's our car, March Super Turbo. CRX. There's a Prelude, but oddly enough, Prelude is one of the cars that they do not have a thing that you need. Hey, I've got a Lupo here. There's a Lupo Cup, isn't there? I gotta get in this Lupo, go to Germany, and invade it. Ha ha ha! Invasion of Germany! Is Germany up this way? Yeah, Germany's up this way. I think there's a Lupo trophy. Well, let's look at the lineup here first. So, Lupo 1.4, this is basically the same sort of Lupo as I have. 70 some odd horsepower. Yeah. Here's a little bit of what to say about it. Don't laugh! It thinks it can mix in with far more grown up cars. Okay. A Lupo will be lost at a drag strip. Set the alarm clock for when we get there. Oh -ho 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 -ho. What special Volkswagens do we have? We have the new Beetle GT. That's kind of fun. It only comes in blue, though. There's no description of it. It has all-wheel drive and lots of horsepowers. Now, before I start... Oh, it was a golf cup and a beetle challenge. There is no Lupo trophy. I thought there was a Lupo trophy. Maybe it's in a later... Maybe it's in another Gran Turismo game. Tom's. There's the Prelude. I'm almost positive there's a Demio trophy. I should just go ahead and get in the Demio right now. And get the Demio trophy squared away. Let's go to Japantown and win a Demio race. How's that sound to everybody? Does it sound good? Or do you want to go... Faster? Oh man, look at these things. Oh, protégés. 323, MHG, WGLX. These all have, what, about 90 some odd? Yeah. Even in sparkle green. This is an LX with a G package, with gangster package. It has less horsepower. I'm a little confused. Why do you want it? This is a GLX special. 
What's so special about it? Oh, it's got a two-tone. Silky pearl, brilliant black. Just out of curiosity, what do new demios look like? Jill X. Also 98 horsepower. So basically there's no getting a fancier demio than these in order to attempt to cheese out the uh, old demio game. Yes, stage two turbos. Equip them! Can we get an intercooler going here? Nope. Okay. Let's get a racing muffler! Manly! We are going to end up with like a 300 horsepower, well, not quite, a not quite 300 horsepower demio here, so I should maybe not make such light of things. The most basic upgrade. That's true, folks. It's an upgrade you can make to your car's engine performance without actually lifting the hood. Interesting. That was what I just did. You can't increase the displacement. Port and polish. You can do that, though. 270 horsepower is our end result here. I wonder if we can uh, use that to win some sort of uh, trophy. Here, the cheat have a trophy. Oh, there is... Let's look at the racing modification. It's all like... Now, having done all this, I'm going to go over to the race thing and realize there was no Demio Cup. There's a Demio race. I feel better now. Demios only. Demios. Oh no, I can't change the gearing. I may be doomed here. Or this may be the most long and boring race of all time if None of them can change their gearing either. <laughs> Listen to that! That is a ridiculous wailing caterwaul. Got nice high gearing though for this. Phew, guys, that is quite a sound, isn't it? Um, hopefully you aren't all deafened. I know I might be. And there's this odd knocking noise that I swear sounds like, uh, going through menu options or something. Bing, 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 bing. Or is that all in my mind? as my ear desperately attempts to make some sense of the sound other than That's right, the cops are coming. 
hear their wailing siren. Well, I'd say I've got this race in pretty good order. I think I might have mentioned already that uh, this car is for sale in the North American market now as the Mazda 2 and that uh, it's not as sort of a tall roofed hatchback as it once was here. It's based off the same platform as the Ford Fiesta now, I think. And, um... Bean's got one. Bean got one here fairly recently. And I can't quite get the steering wheel as far back as I would like. So it's a little cramped in a couple of ways. The transmission tunnel sort of hits my knee in a weird place. So I'm trying to drive it as I've driven it once or twice. But um, it's a super nice, I mean, it's a fun little car. It's just amusing. It's it's sprightly. It's as fast as you need it to be, for sure. And you get a sense of the light weight. Okay, can we start that? <laughs> All right. Next, please. Going to save. We are, however, going to race modify our demio so that it will, uh, so the little windy racing style here, and then we will have another race knocked out. And you do notice in that case that it's pretty much just. You've got to get a... I know, it's going to make me do all the weight trimming first, isn't it? Fine, weight reduction. I wanted to see if I could step, skip a step, but no. I'll have you know, for the price of stage 2 weight reduction or whatever it was there, um, people have uh, taken road cars and made them legal to race and race modified them, you know, for five grand. You could probably do it for less even. There are uh, racing series that uh, put a lot of their emphasis on, oh, this is supposed to be cheap racing. There's one in the United States, oh, there's a couple in the U.S. One is called the 24 Hours of Lemons, as opposed to Le Mans. Lemons. And there's another one, I think, called Chump Car. And I think the idea behind both of them is that the basic car is supposed to cost less than $1,000. And then you're allowed to spend however much above that, not on performance upgrades, but on safety upgrades, like the uh, roll cage and things. Also, our howling phantom car will uh, now tackle the mean streets of Seattle. Going backwards, I hadn't even noticed. Well, that's quite a slide this thing has going here. Yeah, 
Like if he can stand the otherworldly banshee howling of this car, it's actually a lot of fun. I haven't even, uh, as you've all seen, I haven't even done any uh, modification to the suspension or uh, drivetrain. Hey, you get back here, Junior. sort of leaning forward here, trying to make sure I have the best view possible of the uh, racetrack. But uh, then I'm noticing, like, I can see off on the horizon where layers are still being added. So uh, I'm seeing as far ahead as the game is showing. this thing. It's so weird. I remember loving the Demio in the first game just because it was fun and because it was this dorky looking little thing that you could then like sort of like make fast and sort of embarrass other cars. Better believe I'm gonna leave you guys in my dust. Take the win, Banshee! Ah, oh, that's awesome. You can see what some of these other demios are. They have different paint schemes. I can see we're having a demio with racing stripes, might be fun. That's the one I get. Ain't no demio like the one I get. It goes. It's a. Uh, it's either a spooky ghost or a uh, startled southern gentleman. Oh my goodness! I can't believe you snuck up on me. I do declare that was quite a frightening thing that you just did. Ooh. Yeah, that way. Frightened or perhaps electrocuted. <laughs> so anyway, folks, this is Bobo the Vulture talking about electrified southern gentlemen or banshees. When we come back next time, I guess we're going to fiddle fart around with Gran Turismo 2 some more. Uh, it's great times, though, isn't it, folks? I will. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again. Bye now.